Today we will be fitting a, um, a new device that's just come out. Uh, it's called a GDEMU, uh, which is basically this device here. It's um, it's basically a replacement for the GD-ROM drive in the Dreamcast. Basically, you remove the drive and replace it with this, which has an SD card slot. So basically, you can rip your games to an SD card, put all your games on the SD card, and have your whole Dreamcast collection on the SD card, or majority of it. Uh, this Dreamcast I've got here, the um, the drive is packed up. It's very erratic. It will read discs sometimes and not read discs other times. And we had this Dreamcast since launch, so I thought, what the heck? I'll get one of these devices and uh, give it a go. Replace the Dreamcast. So what we do today is we're going to take the Dreamcast apart and fit this device. So basically, first of all. Um, there's four screws underneath, and one of them is hidden just here. Very sneaky from Sega, so yeah, you have to remove the old modem. So let's remove the four screws. And this device is really easy to fit. Basically, all it is is a, uh, it's a communication slot port where the um, actual drive that's already in the uh, Dreamcast fits. So basically, it's a no solder, no solder mod, just plug and play. Take these screws out, flip the uh, green cost over. Dream on demo discs that come to the system. So let's remove the lid. Don't think there's any wires in place. So this is a device I'm going to want to move. I believe there's three or four screws. There's one there, one up here. Yeah, the one there, yeah. Somewhere. It's probably really obvious to, to spot for some reason. I'm not spotting it. Ah, there we go. And that's just uh, just stuck in. Basically, yeah. You move the drive. That's the. Uh, that's the port that plugs into down here. And basically, all we do is take this part and. Uh, Slide it in. There's a, uh, a fixing screw that you tie in here, which I need to put in. So I'll just grab that. Which is this part here. It's a bit of sellotape around it. Let's get the sellotape off. I 
I'm going to have to take this out again because I haven't fitted it in. So yeah, just uh, drop the screw in like that. Put that in there as well, lift it up for the time being. securely and just screw into place. Don't want to over tighten it too much. Just nip it into place. And that is it. I mean how easy was that? It took what five minutes? So basically all we do now is we put the lid back on. And that's how it looks. Can't really see that there, but yeah. So it looks inside. How easy was that? Right, what we'll do now is we'll jump to the PC um, and I'll show you how to set up the SD card and then we'll jump back to uh, some more gameplay. Nice easy mod. Definitely a recommendation for anyone with Dreamcast. So this is the uh, SD card that's going to go in the Dreamcast. Um, when you download the GD uh, menu program. I'll actually include a link in the description below as where to download anything I could talk about in this video. So help people out. Uh, yeah, when you download that program, uh, you'll get two files on the folder. One file will be this gdemu.ini file, and we need to place that in the root of the SD card. Uh, the other file will be a README, which we don't need to place anywhere. Just if for general information, you can read that, and you'll get a folder named uh, 01 and inside this folder it'll have a disk image and basically this is the uh, the disk image for the GD menu program um, basically when um, uh, if you've got a f game in the 01 f uh, folder a uh, GD EMU device will always read whatever game or disk image is in the folder 01 so say for instance we had crazy taxi in 01 when we powered up the Dreamcast it would load this crazy taxi straight away but we don't want that to happen we want it to load the GD menu program so that's why that is placed in 01 all your other games will be placed in the uh, the following folders um, in uh, this folder here we have crazy taxi uh, when you rip your Dreamcast games to your computer uh, you'll get a number of, of different files, uh, bin files, raw files and a, a GDI uh, file. Um, depending on the game you'll always get a different amount of bin and raw files but there will always only ever be one GDI file and in order for the GD menu program to read this game we need to rename this file to disk. If we don't rename it to disk, then it will just be listed as unknown game in the GD menu program. Um, that is uh, that. In this this is Crazy Taxi. In this folder, it's Fighty Fury. As you can see, I've already renamed the GDI file to disk, and this is Gauntlet Legends. I've done the same, renamed that to disk. You'll also see here that there's a different amount and number of uh, bin and raw files. Again, that just depends on the game. Um, what we also have got here is a GDEMU 050-70000.fw file. This is the firmware for the GDEMU device. Basically in order for the GD uh, menu program to work we need to get the latest firmware for the GDEMU device. 
uh, at the moment it is 5.0.7.0 um, what we need to do is we need to rename this to just gdemu.fw again I'll include the uh, the download links for the latest firmware basically what we need to do is uh, with this file in the root of the SD card when we um, place the SD card in the Dreamcast and power it on for the first time uh, the status light on the uh, GDEMU device will flash really look rapidly and when it's flashing rapidly that means that it's updating the firmware when it slows down to flashing every one or two seconds that means that the um, update process is finished uh, once it's finished we it's best to delete this firmware file from the SD card otherwise it will try and update the uh, GDEMU device every time we turn it on so make sure you once it's updated the firmware uh, we delete this file um, also what you need to do on if your SD card has a lock device on the actual SD card itself put it into the lock position and once we've updated the firmware remove uh, the lock and push the tab back up to unlock on the actual, that's on the actual SD card I'm not sure why you have to do that it just tells you to do that in the instructions so make sure you always move the tab down to lock when we're updating the firmware once the firmware is updated put the SD card back in your PC and delete this file uh, so what we'll do now is we'll um, go to the Dreamcast and update the firmware so we're now back at the Dreamcast, so let's turn the Dreamcast on and uh, update the firmware. Apparently the uh, LED status light should flash rapidly, like it's doing, and it should slow down to one every second, which it's doing now. So now that's updated, and what we'll do is we've been told to remove that. Um, firmware file once it's updated to help um, so you don't update it again next time you turn it on. So we'll uh, turn the drink cost off again and uh, remove that file and we'll be back in a minute. So now back at the Dreamcast I've um, removed the SD card that had the um, firmware update on it and Dreamcast is now updated to the latest firmware and I've replaced it with a um, 32 gigabyte sound disk SD card uh, so I can put more games on the card as I said before there's um, the folder on the SD card and the um, GD menu INI file are the only things that need to be in the SD card so you have the INI file and then you have folders named 01, 02, 03, 04 and so on and basically in the 01 folder you want the GD menu um, disk image so it will load that first when you power on the Dreamcast and all the other f um, folders will have the games in I think on the moment on um, the f in the folder 02 I've got Crazy Taxi in folder 03 I've got um, Photo Fury and I think in folder 4 I've got Gauntlet Legends um, but I've explained it on the, when we did the computer section and how to name the files and folders. So let's now power on the Dreamcast and see if this works. I think the um, internal battery on my Dreamcast has gone so it'll probably ask me to input the date and time. I need to get a replacement battery for that for as much. Yeah, a quick point on that is the battery you replace is kind of like a watch, watch battery but you have to make sure it's a rechargeable battery, not a standard battery, otherwise you'll, you'll fry your Dreamcast basically if you try to put a normal battery in. Usually if the um, if the internal battery is fully charged it won't go to this menu screen, it will go straight and load the um, GD menu program. But it's just because my battery pack's dead, it, it has to go back to the main menu. So it's now loading, which is good. 
Aha, there we go. So, as I said before, the folder 01's got the GD menu in, 02's Crazy Taxi, 03, Photo Fury, and Got Legends. In 5 and 6, I haven't put a disc in there, so that's why it's saying that. So, let's try loading disc. We've got the uh, joypad there. Push the button. Let's load the menu. Focus in, that's better. Hey, there you go. Check 60 hertz. Excellent stuff. No CD. God, I haven't played this game in years. Anyway, guys, I hope that's uh, helped you guys with a decision maybe to get one of these devices. As I said, I'll leave. I'll put the descriptions, uh, the links for the, all the download files in the descriptions below, and uh, where you can actually get one of these devices. Because um, I know a lot of these Dreamcast uh, GD ROM drives now are failing. Uh, I know the one I had in this system was a bit erratic; and it wouldn't load the games at the time, and. Uh, this is a good aftermarket mod you can uh, fit so you, uh, you can draw your catalogue again on Dreamcast games. Catch you later guys.